All right, so in this video, I'm going to start by improving uh, the uh, way the paddle interacts with the ball. First of all, I wanted to clean one thing up, though. Um, I like the map to start uh, not quite as low as it's starting. So instead of saying uh, the brick height equals height divided by 2, so this gets us half the height, minus just 1 times the vert, padding. I'm going to do times two of the vertical padding, which kind of gives a little bit more space to actually play an interesting game. So, you know, the ball starts kind of, th the bricks are at a little more reasonable height. And um, anyway, so I just wanted to clean that up. Okay, so next, this is kind of a fun game-ish, not really. Uh, we need to add some behaviors to add some elements of skill and randomness. So one of the things that I wanted to be able to do is, and now it's up at the top so I can't talk to you, change the DX depending on how it comes into contact with the paddle. Um, so, you know, if it hits the paddle on the left-hand side, it should move a little bit more to the left, and on the right-hand side, it'll move a little bit more to the right. I also want to clean up uh, the paddle so it can't go beyond the edge there. So let's do those things right now. Okay, so we're going to clean up the edging and the paddle. Quick, so under uh, x equals mouse position, we're going to say if x is greater than, so this is the position of the mouse that was sent over, if x is greater than bb main dot width minus, what was the variable called for paddle size? Width, believe it or not, um, minus, this is the paddle width, then we want to do something. We want to just set x to be equal to uh, bb main dot width minus the width. So let's see if that fixed it. It should stop the paddle from going off the side to the right hand side. So yeah, it stops there. Okay, good. Well, that's something. We got that. Um, let's also do the opposite so we can see if we can take care of that other thing. If uh, x is, I'm not sure if we can do this, if mouse x position is less than zero, if it's like off the board, I don't think it's going to report it, never mind, we shouldn't do this in this way, if I want to clean that up I'll do it in a different fashion. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to do is in game panel under the check collisions, I want to make this a little bit more sophisticated. So instead of just saying anytime the ball comes into contact with a rectangle, just flip its y direction, we're going to actually say, we're going to do that for, for sure. We're going to start by flipping the y direction, but we're also going to change the direct, the x direction. So um, we need this uh, set dx method. So we're going to add that down here. So public, oh, this should be, okay, just for the sake of cleanly programming. I'll keep these two together. And then we're going to go here and we're going to say uh, we need two. So the ball dot or the uh, sorry <laughs> public uh, void set dx and we need to take a double the dx and uh, all I'm going to do is say dx equals the dx that was passed over and then public double get dx and all this does is return dx so that we can get at it. Now if we head over to game panel we're actually going to start to change the check collisions thing so we're going to say if the ball dot get x do I have that method yet? <laughs> no I don't. Uh, get x and it's not there yet so I'm sorry I have forgot we have to create that also so let's create public double get x and all this is going to do is return x because we need to know the ball's position in space uh, for this thing in the x direction uh, ball dot get x if that is less than Oh, the mouse dot x, and then we have to the paddle dot get x. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna create a new field to do this. Uh, I forgot how I did it before. This is gonna be fine. So we're gonna create a new field, private int mouse x, and we'll just start that at zero. So under init mouse x equals zero, 
because we need to know where the mouse is for this one and we're not storing it anywhere we're just sending it directly to um, the paddle so mouse x equals x or equals e dot get x uh, so now we're just storing e dot get x in this uh, class so that we can t do things with it so now let's go up here if the ball dot get x so that means if the ball is towards we're gonna what we're gonna do is if the ball is towards the left hand side of the paddle it's gonna push the ball a little bit towards the left and towards the right push the ball a little bit towards the right so we say if the ball dot get x is less than mouse x plus the paddle dot get width divided by four and I have to create get width too I forgot about that so let's create get width in the paddle so we need to have access because that's a private field we need to have access to it so we're gonna public uh, int get width return width so if this this means if it's on uh, so if it intersects and it's towards the left hand side we want to set DX a little bit so the ball dot set DX the direction in the X uh, on the X axis so we're gonna say the ball dot set DX the ball dot get DX and all we're gonna do is minus 0.5 so we're just gonna like squeak it over there a little bit uh, and we're gonna do this for this, the same on the right hand side we're obviously gonna do this plus and this is the mouse uh, X is greater and so if we want to do this one we have to say so if it's um, Oh yeah, this is gonna work. So we start with the right hand side, and then we go if the ball dot get x is less than the mouse dot panel plus four with four, and oh no, not with four, and the ball dot get x is greater than mouse x plus the paddle dot get width divided by four then we want to do that and I think this should work so what we're saying is if it hits the if the ball hits on the left hand side of the paddle uh, squeak the ball you know make the ball's X direction go a little bit towards the um, towards the left and uh, over towards the right if it's on the right hand side of the ball. Let's see if this works. Might get an error. So you can see it is adjusting the direction in the x vector. Let's see if it's doing it in the y vector. It seems to be. Yep. Or, I mean not the y vector, the other direction. Positive x direction. Good. It's looking pretty good. Still some wonky stuff, but we're not going to fix everything. All right, that's it for this video.